My opinion of Los Angeles since moving here is is good. I like it. My name's Isaiah. I'm uh, from Austin, Texas. At least that's where I grew up. When I was in elementary, my mom um, had us in all extracurricular activities. I had always loved singing since I was a kid, and I had always wanted to come to Los Angeles ever since I was a, a young boy. And I just saved all the money I could, but whenever it, within those two weeks, it was like raining the entire time, so there it wasn't very busy. I was only able to save like up to $1,000. Put gas in my car drive all the way up here to Los Angeles, find out who I am and and kind of be consistent with that and understand that. Um. I like to run past Fairmount Pictures because it's really inspiring. There's so many people who come here and they become so successful and hopefully, you know, I hope to do that one day. And just to learn from them and just to feel that energy uh, coming from where we are. I really like it. So, I noticed that within myself, I like, it's hard for me to pick a certain talent because I have a little bit of everything. Like, I picked up dancing. So I have a good ear for music and I'm able to move my body in different ways and I've always been a little bit insecure about singing and I've really been pushing myself to be more confident because I have a very powerful voice and whenever I really let myself uh, focus and push that out, uh, I know that it can um, really speak to oh. ma, 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 ma. <laughs> And make sure you're all right. Push out my diaphragm or like my rib cage area. And so I've been really trying to practice on like focusing on and so I'm really like searching for um, other people who are kind of on the same page as me so we can collab together work together build our team and really start making um, you know moves. goals and moves You'll be able to learn a lot more, a lot about yourself by putting on a different character that isn't you. But also like on a physical side, putting on a character, depending on which character you get. We have these bodies that we can do so many things with. I can stuff my face and, you know, start gaining a ton of weight and, and be this person. Or I can really watch what I'm eating and get really fit and portray a, a smaller, you know, thin character. I'm excited that I found this though, because The other place I was living in was not. And I find myself fitting, molding into uh, a more type of physical, physically fit character uh, in general. Um, you know, but I'm understanding that I can do different things with my body. And so I can gain weight for a role or I can lose weight or do something in that way. I wasn't really worried about where I worked. First off, Los Angeles minimum wage is thirteen twenty-five. Out in Austin, Texas, it's seven twenty-five. So already, I'm winning. That really intrigued me, and I was like, you know what? I don't care where I work because ultimately, I want to be making money doing my craft. But I got the job, fortunately, at Chipotle, and it's really taught me about work ethic there. Uh, it's kept me busy. It's distracted me. And in the beginning, I was like insecure about 
having a job at Chipotle just because with my resume, it doesn't really reflect Chipotle, um, which is, you know, a chain restaurant. Um, and it's, it's kind of, kind of considered fast food. Thank you for calling Chipotle Large Month. This is Carla speaking. Hey, Carla, it's Isaiah. Hey, you there. Right now, I, I uh, am kind of really low on money until I get paid next. I don't have much food to like eat, so I was wondering if maybe I could come in and get a bowl. I know I'm not working, but I was wondering if you could help me with some food. Okay. Is, yeah, that's fine. Okay. okay, awesome, cool. Thank you so yeah, much. Fine. Someone's not going starving today. Your boy. But that's how life goes in LA, so you just kind of have to go along with it. Go with the flow.